Let's circle back to something that we haven't spoken about in a little bit. Remember that canceled Ant IPO? We mentioned it in the first segment today. And remember the crackdown on Jack Ma and Alibaba by the Chinese authorities. Yeah, well, China's market regulators said just today that it will launch new rules this year to clear up, quote, prominent problems in the online market, end quote, and to track online transactions more closely. This comes as shares of Tencent have been plunging in recent days, wiping out more than $60 billion in market value, as sources say Tencent might be the next company to run afoul of Chinese regulators. What would running afoul of the regulators ultimately mean? Well, sources are also saying China is considering a record fine exceeding the previous record, Qualcomm's $975 million fine, this time against Alibaba, which may face softer treatment if it were to preemptively distance itself from its founder, Jack Ma. So the regulators can be appeased if they see heads rolling and also if you pay up billions in fines, quoting the Wall Street Journal. Since late last year, Alibaba has been in Beijing's crosshairs along with its financial affiliate, Ant Group. Regulators have come down hard on Ant, which they consider a risk to the financial system, forcing it to make changes that will severely hamper its prospects. Alibaba, though, appears destined for softer treatment. Officials familiar with Beijing's thinking said regulators don't want to crush a technology powerhouse popular with both Chinese households and global investors as long as it disassociates itself from its flashy and outspoken founder and aligns itself more closely with the Communist Party. Those people said Alibaba also will be required to end a practice that has been dubbed Er Juan Yi, sorry for the pronunciation, it translates literally as choose one out of two, under which regulators believe the tech giant pushed certain merchants who sold goods both on Alibaba and its rival platforms, including JD.com. The precise remedies Alibaba will have to take likely will be hammered out only after a decision is announced, according to one of the people. In addition, regulators are weighing whether to require Alibaba to divest itself of some assets unrelated to its main online retailing business. Once final, measures against Alibaba will need to be approved by China's top leadership, end quote. Now, as we said when this all first went down, does this mean startups will have to think differently about doing business in China? And I mean specifically Chinese startups inside of China. As Bloomberg notes, the crackdown on Jack Ma risks backfiring on Chinese President Xi's master plan for Chinese tech to take over the world. Quote, The abrupt fall from grace of the Alibaba founder has cast a chill over parts of China's technology sector, according to local entrepreneurs and venture capitalists, even as Xi prepares to pour trillions of dollars into making the country self-sufficient in everything from semiconductors to software. One startup founder in Ma's home province says he no longer aspires to Alibaba-sized success, fearing the risk of unwanted government attention. Another says he's stopped speaking in public and plans to focus on expanding his robotics business overseas. A venture capitalist who's backed dozens of startups says the Ma saga will make entrepreneurs less aggressive, especially those who compete against state-owned companies. All three requested anonymity to speak freely about a politically sensitive subject. Quote, The Jack Ma incident could be a turning point for China's tech sector, says Rebecca Fanin, founder of research group Silicon Dragon Ventures. End quote. 